to address these risks cannot be overlooked. Much of what happens in this parliament, Mr Acting Speaker, occurs on an adversarial basis. And it often appears that members of different parties or factions are enemies. And while there certainly is plenty of rivalry in politics, I believe my real enemies are not the other members of parliament, but those things which would undermine the welfare of and reduce the opportunities available to the people of New South Wales. These enemies include poverty, disease, homelessness, corruption and the breakdown of family relationships. It will be my goal to confront those enemies on behalf of the people I represent. One of my supporters doesn't want to listen anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and to, uh, to do whatever I can to maximise the opportunities for a good life for all. In particular, I want to contribute to policies which will support marriage and family life and assist people to build communities which are nurturing and supportive of their members. I'm proud to be a member of the Liberal Party. This is the party which respects both the rights and the responsibilities of individuals. It is committed to personal freedom as well as to the protection of those unable to fend for themselves. The Liberal Party is not the party of any one interest group but is broad based and draws support from across the full spectrum of the community. Its members comprise small business people, self-employed people and employees. People of a wide variety of ethnic and faith traditions, city people and country folk, and includes the young and old. Importantly, it spans the conservative and liberal traditions within Australian politics and respects the conscience of individual members. Liberal philosophy and values have much to offer in the task of ensuring that our state is a great place to live and offers the best chance of a good life to all its citizens. Mr Acting Speaker, I would like to think that when my time here is done, I will be able to look back and say that I've made a positive difference both to my local area and to the people of New South Wales. I would like to think that I will be able to say that I stood by my principles and contributed to good government based on good values. I look forward to working with everyone of goodwill in this place for the betterment of our society in New South Wales. Yeah. Yeah.
you will be they ought to free the city that place for about 20 bucks. <laughs> This is the first political speech on an advertisement in the first month. Yeah, we brought every no, we brought everybody back in. Well, we brought them all in to listen to you. And so what is she's actually